Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm back again with another video and today I'm really, really excited to show you guys what I have in front of me. Um, this, you guys, as you guys can see, this is the Lego Pet Shop uh, modular buildings uh, from 2011, I believe. But um, this is actually really cool for me because this is the first uh, official Lego modular building I have. And so it's really cool to have it right here in front of my hand. And the even cooler part was um, how much I actually spent on it. Um, I th if I remember correctly, um, I ended up spending $70 on it, um, and I got this from a private seller. And so that was really exciting um, that I was able to score this for, for that price. Um, now, clearly, it's not complete. Um, there's a lot of pieces missing. Well, I mean, not a lot, but there's there's some notable, noticeable things that are missing. Um, on top of that, um, it only came with one minifigure, which is the, um, the guy painting the walls, uh, which is inside. And so... You know, it's a little unfortunate on that side, but again, for the price, it's it's not that bad. Um, probably for the pieces that I end up using to rebuild this, and you know, trying to find the minifigures, it'll probably be way um, less, way more or less expensive than trying to find one on eBay or other um, websites online. But yeah, it's really cool. Um, I'll show you guys around. Um, as you guys can see some. There's some of the things that are some of the things that are missing, like the uh, little fence that goes here, things like that. But again, I'll, I'll uh, probably uh, first of all, I'll probably take this apart. And then just go and see what pieces are missing and then try to finish it up with the, my own collection. And so, yeah, here uh, we go. Here's, here's a view of the back. And so, I mean, yeah, it's really cool and exciting. Um, my main goal with this is to try to see if I can integrate it with my Lego city. And the big challenge, of course, is that my city is all <laughs> underneath my bed. And so I have to account for height restrictions. And so I will probably be looking into to seeing what, what the maximum height is and if I'll even be able to do it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, make this quick video um, and show you guys. Um, I'll try to take this apart. So, of course, it comes with the standard modular um, things. Now, again, this is my first modular, so I've never had one. So it's kind of cool to have one in hand, just to kind of play around with and see. Um, and again, it's really exciting. Um, again, this is probably hasn't been played with in a couple of years, and so. Some of the pieces are a little, little tough and a little stiff, and so that just happens with time. And so, yeah, but uh, like I said, it's really cool. Um, and let me see if I can, yeah, I'm gonna take out. This is a minifigure I was talking about. Um, he was the only one included with the, with the lot, and so. Um, but still, it's cool to have at least this guy here. And so, yeah, um, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys um, what I got, and yeah, I'll be working on. Um, on trying to fix it, uh, fix it up and complete it with all the parts that it needs. And so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.